And the Coast Guard is using helicopters to rescue people stranded in the floods. Some of those choppers and other equipment is from Milwaukee. Tom Durian is live with that part of our team coverage. Tom. Hi, Carol. You talked about a lot of those rescue, the thousands of them going on down along the Gulf Coast. The guys here at the Coast Guard tell me they will do more rescues over the next week or so down on the Gulf Coast than they will probably do in a regular year. So this is what most of our people joined the service for, was to, to try to help others and respond to these types of incidents. And respond they have. From the Coast Guard's Lake Michigan sector, nearly 30 personnel have been sent to the Gulf Coast, a portion of them from right here at the Milwaukee Station. So as early as um, last week, early in the week, we were already identifying people and assets to potentially send down. Some left on Friday with four airboats in tow. Others headed south on two of the Guard's MH-65 helicopters, helping in the many rescues we've already seen. They got on the road and, and went down and, and got to work right away. In fact, the airboats you've seen in Texas are often used in ice rescues, and many of them are stationed in the Great Lakes region. Some of them are going to help staff those airboats because there's only a, a finite amount of them across the Coast Guard, and so there's just a fewer amount of people that are trained and qualified to operate them. So again, that's a great resource that we can provide here from Wisconsin down to, to Texas. Just this morning, a decision was made to send more equipment from Lake Michigan, seven skiff ice boats and 10 crew. That's really designed to go from ice to, to from hard water or ice as we call it, right, to open water and back onto ice. So it's ideal for a situation like an urban environment that's not supposed to be a maritime environment, but it is now flooded. So some of those people that are headed down there are currently on planes. They're actually probably pretty close to Houston right now. And they tell me, regardless of all the folks that they sent down to the Gulf Coast, they'll be just fine should anything happen here on Lake Michigan. Reporting live outside the Coast Guard Station, Tom Durain, today's TMJ4. Yeah, we have 55 people from the American Red Cross there already. Thank you very much, Tom.